Hello everyone, my name is Anna, I'm a dietitian from Ask a Dietitian and I am reviewing two children's books today. I really, really think it's really important what we surround ourselves with, what kind of media we consume and the same goes for our kids, of course, and so books are one of the main parts of media that children are going to be consuming. So one book, I have two books here. The first one is really, 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 really awful. And the second one is a really great book. Um, so the first book is The Lighthouse Keeper's Picnic. So this seems to be a series, The Lighthouse Keeper. I wasn't a big fan of the first one. And now that I've read the second one, I just think it deserves a lighter and a bin. Um, and stay safe, don't use play with fire. But the information in this book implies that People in larger bodies are, um, uh, are, are gluttonous and love food and um, doing it to themselves, whatever it is. And so the idea is, the premise is basically the lighthouse keeper puts on weight and then he hates himself and he can't do exercise, which of course is wrong. We know that anyone, uh, most people can do exercise. And then he um, eats them all, you know, and his favorite activity is eating because he's a larger man. Therefore, his favorite activity is eating. It's really, really oh, blows my mind what they were thinking when they wrote this book. And then um, then his wife, he comes along and says, you should be ashamed of yourself. No joke. If you're in a partnership with somebody who says you should be ashamed of yourself for eating food, then you need to leave. This is not how we talk to people, especially those in a partnership. Shouldn't talk to anyone like that. Shouldn't talk to our children like that. And not about food and then he asks for one chocolate he pleads for one chocolate um uh, and so basically it's denying that he's allowed any treats or anything treats i say treats because food is not hierarchical there is no good food or bad food and so i just really um was really horrified by that book it also implies i think that the author came really from uh a place where they thought they were helping um they thought that shame would help but shame doesn't help uh not that anyone else's body is anyone else's business um shame just makes people hide things it doesn't make people change things um so the better book that i have is much much better by an australian um social worker uh, by jessica sanders it's called love your body and illustrated by carol rossetti i love this book it talks about um how your body is amazing for various reasons um and i think that the illustrator did a fantastic job because she's displaying all the different types of bodies skin color hair color body hair stretch marks which i love it makes me so happy because most people have stretch marks almost every adult has stretch marks I, well i think I don't know, nobody talks about it, but I certainly have stretch marks. And so it's just really, really, really lovely. Uh, it talks about the importance of self-care and um, it's aimed at girls, but I think that this is also good for boys because it uh, shows boys that girls' bodies come in all sorts of um, shapes and sizes and variety and so it's aimed also at our primary school children um i think that's best age for it and so if you have any questions any comments if you've read any of these books please do let me know i'm very interested to hear your feedback if you're the author of this first book um sorry to be so aggressive if you're the author of the second book then well done congratulations i love it and if you'd like to book in with me, my website is askinapd.com and send any questions to Facebook Ask a Dietitian. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.